dry bones come alive dead hearts come alive come alive Ezekiel 37 so many principles and truths of the Lord's heart for our lives and for us to prophesy to dry bones that they'll come alive hear the word of the Lord and be touched by the Holy Spirit through the eyes of men it seems there's so much we have lost as we look down the road where all the prodigals have walked and one by one the enemy has whispered lives and led them off as slaves but we know that you are God yours is the victory we know that there is more to come that we might not yet see so with the faith you've given us we'll step into this valley unafraid into this valley unafraid and we call out to dry bones come alive come alive and we call out to dead hearts come alive come alive up out of the ashes let us see your army rise we call out to dry bones come alive come on learn it with me and we call out to dry bones come alive come alive and we call out to dead hearts come alive come alive and up out of the ashes let us see your army rise Lord we call out to dry bones come alive dry bones hear the word of the Lord call for the wind the breath of God from the four wind they're coming alive God of endless mercy
powerful verses, one awesome chorus, and yet there's a bridge. It says, breathe the breath of God. Breathe the breath of God. Breathe the breath of God. Now breathe. Breathe the breath of God. Breathe the breath of God. Breath of God comes from the four winds and you breathe on the dry bone. Yeah, oh, breathe the breath of God. Breathe the breath of God. Breathe. It's so powerful. Nothing can stop your breath, the pure oxygen of heaven. Oh, oh breathe the breath of God. So just for a moment, Father, in Yeshua's name, we pray for wayward daughters and wayward sons. Even adult children, bring them back into your holy presence. You're turning their heart from hardened to supple again in your hands, Lord. You change the hardened heart. God. In your hands, it becomes supple and full of life again. Father, we pray off all offense where people, sons and daughters, have been offended and they walked away, they got ticked off, they became angry, Lord. Just out of the lyrics of this song, the wayward daughters and the wayward sons, even adult children, turning their heart for you, turning their heart back to you. breath of God, now breathe, turning their heart back to you, turning their heart back to you, breathe, oh breath of God, breathe on these hardened hearts, you're touching them, their hearts become alive in you again, their hearts become alive in you again, dry bones and dead hearts. By the touch of your hand and the breath of your mouth, Lord, they come alive, Lord. They're coming back to life. They come alive, Lord. Dry bones and dead hearts, they come alive, Lord, in you. Come alive. They're turning back to you fully alive. Fully alive, fully alive in you, fully alive in you, yeah, oh, breathe the breath of God, breathe, oh, breath of God, breathe, oh, breath of God, and the hearts come alive. Open your Bibles. Here we go. Yeah. Uh. It's a glorious passage of Scripture where the impossible is made possible by the breath of God and the life of the Almighty. Ezekiel 37, verses 1 through 10. 
the valley of dry bones, not dead bodies. They were just dry bones. They had already perished. It's the vision of the valley of dry bones as the Lord got Ezekiel's full attention and said, I'm calling you prophetic man of God to do these three things. Hear the word of the Lord. Command the dry bones to hear the word of the Lord. You're going to come for my breath from the four winds. Then they'll come alive. Then you'll see my exceeding great army. They'll rise up. The slain, S-L-A-I-N, the slain will come back to life because of my breath and the word of God. Let's do this. Got to start a little bit in the minor mode. Verse 1, Ezekiel 37. Woo! The hand of the Lord was upon me, and he brought me out. He brought me out. Hand of the Lord was upon me, and he brought me out. In the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of the valley and it was full of bones it was full of bones well the hand of the Lord was upon me and he brought me out and he brought me out well the hand of the Lord was upon me and he brought me out he brought me out by the spirit of the Lord and he set me down in the middle by the spirit of the Lord I was brought out and he set me down in the middle of the valley of dry bones think about it it was the valley full of full of dry bones it was a valley in the middle of a valley it was full of dry bones verse one now verse two he caused me to pass among them round about he led me back and forth among them and i be and behold there were very many human bones on the surface of the valley oh it had to be somewhat bizarre. Even in a vision of the valley of dry bones, he said, and behold, there were very, very many human bones on the surface of the valley floor. And they were, they were very, very dry. Verse 3. Son of man, the Lord asks Ezekiel, Son of man, can these bones live again? Son of man, can these bones become living people again? And Ezekiel answered, Oh Lord God, you know. These people living again from the valley of dry bones, he said, Oh, Lord God, you know they can live again. I'm saying yes if the Lord asks you this question today. Verse 3, Son of man, can these bones live again? Can these bones become living people again my answer today as a new Testament believer is yes lord yes lord yes lord these dry bones can live again because nothing is impossible with nothing is impossible with you we cry out yes lord these dry bones can live again because of you because of miracle working power because the word of God it's true 
We're answering, I, you and me today, are answering the question in number three. The Lord God Almighty, he asked Ezekiel, and he said, well, oh Lord, you know, I don't think I would have said that. Of course, I wasn't in this vision, but I would have said, Lord, all things are possible with you. Huh? Uh. All things are possible with you. are possible so we're saying yes Lord we're saying yes Lord these dry bones can live again we say yes Lord these bones can become living people again Oh, these bones can become living people again. He asked the prophet Ezekiel. And we say, yes, Lord, these bones can live. The hardest of hearts can be drawn back in again. People away from the Lord in your life are not bigger than God himself. I have to remind, especially older people. Your adult children walked away. They're not bigger they walked away from the Lord, but they're not bigger than God himself. And thank you, Lord. Verse 4. Again, he said to me, prophesy Ezekiel over these bones and say to them, O oh, dry bones, come to life. No, it doesn't say that. The first thing he commands Ezekiel to prophesy is not come to life. Not yet. Not call for my breath from the four winds. Not yet. The very first thing the living God said to Ezekiel is, hear the word of the Lord. The dry bones have to hear the word of the Lord. They have to hear the word of the Lord. The first thing he said is prophesy. Oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. And then you'll come alive. Then my breath will come from the four winds, and you will come to life. The breath of God, but not first. The very first thing he said, get it now, verse 4. Hear the word of the Lord. Uh, the bones had ears. I don't know. It's supernatural. Bones don't have ears. The valley of dry bones. He said, first you're going to have to prophesy. Word of God on them. Word of God is coming on them. Verse 5. Thus says the Lord God to these bones. Behold. I will cause breath to enter into you that you will come to life. What? Behold, I will cause my breath to enter you. You will come to life. Come to life, I will cause my breath to enter into you, dry bones, and you'll come to life. Wow, my God. Look, I am going to breathe into you and make you live again. Make you live only the Lord, dry bones. Wow. Look, I'm going to breathe into you and make you live again verse 6 I will put and lay sinews on you making flesh grow back on you I will cover you with skin and put breath in you that you dry bones may come alive totally a miracle totally supernatural power we got, we got to, these are, 
right out of the Old Testament, some of the greatest miracles ever seen. And I will put sinews back on you, dry bones. And after I put sinews on you, guess what? I'm going to make flesh grow back on you. And I'll cover you with skin and put my breath inside of you. You will live again. You will live again. You'll come alive. You'll come alive. You will. Verse 6, Ezekiel 37. Yeah, you will come alive. You will come alive. Oh, dry bones, you will come alive. You will live again, dry bones, you will come alive. And here is the result. The very tale in verse 6 says that you will know that I am the Lord. And you will know I am the Lord. Yes, you will know for sure, certainly, that I am, that I am the Lord of life. I am the Lord of life, and you will know, you'll certainly know that I am the Lord. I'm the Lord of life, and you will know certainly, and finally, that I am the Lord. I am the Lord that makes bones come back to life. I am the Lord of all life. And you'll know and understand and realize that I am the sovereign ruler who calls forth loyalty and obedient service. Verse 7. Verse 7. First, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord now. Secondly, I prophesied as I command I was commanded. I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. There was literally a voice, a thundering, a thundering noise and behold a rattling a shaking and trembling and rattling the bones came together freak out city man in the vision I don't care who you are even the prophet Ezekiel what the bones started inching together across the valley and it's way out there bro I know but it's right here in the scripture I've thought about it so many times and the bones started moving and inching together and skeletons started coming back together this is the power of our miracle working God. All things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. All things are possible to our God. All things are possible with our God. There was a noise. A rattling. A thundering noise, and behold, a rattling, a shaking and trembling, and the bones came together. Bone to bone. Suddenly, as I spoke, there was a rattling all across the valley. All across the valley. The bones came together, bone to bone. A rattling noise and all across the valley of dry bones. Here it comes. Yeah, they came together bone to bone. And as I looked, verse 8, and behold, sinews were on them. Huh? Upon the bones and flesh grew together and skin covered them. Whoa! But still there was no breath in him, but sinews grew on the bones. Flesh grew and skin covered them, but ah, there was still no breath in them. There was still no breath in them. There was still no breath in them. 
So first he prophesied, hear the word of the Lord. And now verse 9, he said to me, prophesy Ezekiel to my breath. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath, thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, breathe on these slain, that they come to life. Ezekiel, I want you to prophesy, breath of God, come from the four winds, and breathe on these slain. Breathe on these slain, breath of God. They'll come to life. They'll come to life. Breathe on these slain. Breathe on these slain. That they come to life. And next he said, prophesy to the breath prophesy to the breath prophesy to these human beings say to the breath that Adonai Elohim says come from the four winds O breath of God come Elohim Adonai says that my breath will come from the four winds and breathe on these slain they came to Verse 10, he prophesied as he commanded, was commanded. And the breath came into them. They came to life. And they stood on their feet, an exceeding great army. Wow. I prophesied. You have to prophesy as the Lord commands you in everyday life. Hard situations, uh, change in your life, storms. Prophesy as I've commanded you, Ezekiel. And I prophesied the breath came. They can live. And the breath came into them. Fully formed bodies, 300, 500, 1,000, I don't know. Was ever on the valley floor. They came to life and stood on their feet. This is one of my seating great army. Exceeding great army, the valley of dry bones, the slain came alive, came to life. An exceeding great army, exceeding great army, the valley of dry bones. They heard the word of the Lord and they came to life. An exceeding great army. The slain and exceeding great army, they received the breath of life and stood on their feet. An exceeding great army, yeah, an exceeding great army. And there it is, the miracle of the vision of the valley of dry bones, yeah. Oh, breath of God. Oh, breath of God, we see the power of your breath, Lord, as you breathe into the slain. And it, see, they became an exceeding great army, you guys. They became an exceeding great army. And I'm living and still in ministry, still alive today. I want to see verse 10. I put it before the Lord on the altar of prayer and worship and go, Lord, I'm going to be here to the end until I see the slain, the third time divorce, the alcoholic, the addictive behaviors. The slain became in the living God an exceeding great army. And we'll see revival and great awakening around the globe, around this planet, till every tribe, tongue, and nation becomes the kingdom of priests. They will rule and reign on this earth as the kingdom of priests because they came alive with the life of the Lord Jesus. Wow. Praise be to God forever.
I have loved you with an everlasting love. Get busy. <laughs> okay, Lord, I'm going to stay busy for you following the impulse is the guidance and direction of your Holy Spirit. We thank you for it now, Father, in Yeshua's name. Shalom, shalom. We'll see you real soon.